Hello mga mat aral In this video, I am going to discuss compounding more than once a year. We are going to solve for maturity or future value and present value when compounded monthly, compounded quarterly, and compounded semi-annually. Kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel na to, click the subscribe button for more general mathematics video tutorials. So for the formulas, we have the formula for future value or maturity value compounding m times a year is f equals p times the quantity 1 plus j raised to n. Or we can use f equals p times the quantity 1 plus i raised to m over m raised to mt. And for the formula of present value at compound interest, we have P equals F over the quantity 1 plus J raised to N. Or we can use P equals F over the quantity 1 plus I raised to M over M raised to MT. Where P now is the present value value at compound interest. I raised to M now is our annual rate of interest. T now is the time per year. And F is the future or maturity value compounding M times a year. And N here is the total number of conversion periods. So to get the value of N, just multiply the value of M and T. And the J now is the periodic rate. To get the value of J, just divide the value of rate and M. M now is the conversion period the number of times in a year the interest will be compounded. So the following are the common conversion periods in a year. So if it is annually, the value of M is 1. If it is semi-annually, our M is 2. If it is quarterly, M is 4. And if it is monthly, our M is equal to 12. Let's have example number one. Find the future value and interest earned on 15,000 pesos for one year at 7% compounded semi-annually. So what is being asked in the problem is to find for future value and interest. So the formulas are the following. For future value, it is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus J raised to N. And for the compound interest, we have F minus P. So what are the given in the problem? We have 15,000 pesos. And 15,000 pesos is the principal. One year is our time. 7% is our rate. And percentage must be written into decimal. So to write percentage into decimal, just move the decimal point twice to the left. So from this point, we move 1, 2. So we have now 0 0.07. And since it is compounded semi-annually, our M now is 2. So since we need the value of J in our formula, let's get first the value of J by dividing rate and M. So we have our I raised to M or rate is 0 0.07 divided by the value of M is 2. Dividing now 0 0.07 and 2, we will get 0 
Then we need also the value of n. So to get the value of n, just multiply m and t. So our m is 2 and our t is 1. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. So let's now solve for the future value using this formula. So just substitute all the given in the formula. So future value equals our principal or present value is 15,000 times the quantity 1 plus our J is 0 0.035. Raise to our N is 2. Simplifying this, we will get 16,068.38. And for the compound interest, let's use this formula and just substitute the values of F and P. So compound interest equals our F is 16,068.38 minus our present value is 15. So, subtracting these two, we will get 1,068.38. Thus, the future value is 16,068.38 pesos. And the interest is 1,068.38 pesos. So, let's have example number two. Find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded quarterly for 5 years. So what are we going to solve is the maturity value and interest. So we are going to use these formulas. So what are the given in the problem? We have 10,000 pesos. And 10,000 pesos is a deposited money, so it is our present value or principal. Then we have here 2%, so 2% is our interest rate. And 2% must be written into decimal, so it is now 0 0.02. 5 years is our time. And since it is compounded quarterly, our M now is equal to 4. In the formula, we need the value of J and N. So, let's find first the value of J and N. So, to find the value of J, just divide the interest rate and our M. So, our interest rate is 0 0.02 and the value of our M is 4. So, 0 0.02 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.005. Then, the value of N is just multiply M and T. So, our M is 4 times our time is 5, 5 years. So, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So, our J now is 0 0.005 and our N is 20. So, we can now solve for the maturity value using this formula. So, future value or maturity value is equal to our principal is 10,000 times the quantity 1 plus our J is 0 0.005 raised to our N is 20. So, simplifying this, we will get 11,000 48.96 and for the interest we have F minus P so our F now is 11,048.96 minus our principal is 10,000 so subtracting this we will get 1,048.96 thus the maturity value is 11,048.96 pesos and the interest is 1,048.96 pesos. Now, let's have example number 3. 
find the maturity value and interest if 10,000 pesos is deposited in a bank at 2% compounded monthly for 5 years. So what are we going to find is the maturity value and the interest. So we are going to use these formulas here. So what are the given in the problem? We have the 10,000 pesos. Since 10,000 pesos is a deposited money, it is now our present value or principal. And 2% is our interest rate. And 2% must be written into decimal, so we have now 0 0.02. And 5 years now is the time. And since it is compounded monthly, our M now is equal to 12. So in the formula, we need the value of J and N. So we need to find first the value of J and N. So J now is equal to interest rate over M. So our interest rate is 0 0.02 divided by our M is 12. And N now is equal to M times T. So just multiply the value of M and T. So the value of M is 12 and T is 5. 12 times 5 is equal to 60. So we can now solve for maturity value using this formula. So maturity value is equal to principal which is 10,000 times the quantity 1 plus our J is 0 0.02 over 12 and our N so it is raised to 60. So simplifying this we will get 11,050.79. So for interest just substitute the value of maturity value and P in this formula. So, interest is equal now to our maturity value is 11,050.79 minus our principal or present value is 10,000. Subtracting these two, we will get 1,050.79. Thus, the maturity value is 11,050.79 pesos. And the interest is 1,050.79 pesos. Example number four. Find the present value of 50,000 pesos due in four years if money is invested at 12% compounded semi-annually. So what are we going to solve is the present value. And the formula for present value is this one. So what are the given in the problem? We have 50,000 pesos. And 50,000 pesos is our maturity or, or future value. And 4 years now is our time. 12% is our interest rate. So 12% must be written into decimal. So we have 0. 12. And since it is compounded semi-annually, the value of M now is 2. So since in the formula we have J and N, so we need to find first the value of J and N. So to get the value of J, just divide I raised to M and M. So, our interest rate now is 0 0.12 divided by our M, which is 2. Dividing these two, we will get 0 0.06. And for N, just multiply M and T. So, the value of our M is T times the value of our time is 4. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So, we can now solve for the present value. So, present value is equal to F, maturity value is 50,000 over the quantity 1 plus our J is 0 0.06, our N is 8. 
So, dividing this, we will get 31,370.62 pesos. Let's solve the last example. Find the present value of 25,000 due in 2 years and 6 months if money is worth 10% compounded quarterly. So what are we going to find is the present value. So the formula is P equals F over the quantity 1 plus J raised to N. So what are the given in the problem? We have 25,000 pesos. And 25,000 pesos is our maturity or future value. Then we have here 2 years and 6 months. So to convert months into years, we use the formula M over 12. Our M now is 6. So 6 over 12 is 1 half. So our time is 2 and 1 half or 2.5 years. Then we have 10% and 10% is our interest rate. And 10% must be written into decimal so we have 0 0.10. And since it is compounded quarterly, our M now is equal to 4. So in the formula, we have J and N. So we need to find first the value of J and N. So, to find the value of J, just divide I raised to M over M. So, our I raised to M is 0 0.10 and our M is 4. So, 0 0.10 divided by 4 is equal to 0 0.025. And for the value of N, just multiply the value of M and T. So, M now is equal to 4 times our T is 2.5. So, 4 times 2.5 is equal to 10. So, we can now solve the present value using this formula. So, present value is equal to our F now is 25,000 over the quantity 1 plus our J is 0 0.025 raised to N which is 10. So, simplifying this, we will get 19,529.96. Thus, the present value is 19,529.96 pesos. Thank you for watching mga mat aaral. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the YouTube channel. Thank you. Until next time, God bless.